My name is Alan Horan. I've been born in uh, here in Galway, Bohemore, just about 200 metres from where we are. Uh, an interesting place to be growing up. Uh, mad. Um, working class, uh, hard drinkers, um, great fun, mix of all sorts. And now they have uh, swimming pools, boutique bars and a very fancy hotel. So it just goes to show how Galway has changed. My family was not very normal. Uh, my father was a cattle dealer and a horse dealer and he was also the butcher here in Galway, one of 15, of which there are none left. Uh, he's the oldest probably surviving butcher of Galway. He's 96, still uh, just gave him his breakfast. Um, his shop was next door to the Four Corners here, just uh, up here where the music shop now is. That was his butcher shop. Uh, he quickly realised that uh, the fishing boats coming in from Marin um, down at the docks, they would order uh, a, a month's worth of meat as opposed to the housewife ordering two chops. Uh, he sold the shop and then changed his business up to the Iron Islands and he was the butcher there for 50 years in Inishmore, Kilronan. Uh, what was different about my lifestyle, it was um, my brother was an international show jumper uh, he's still involved in horses. Uh, I went out to help him and then a year later suddenly I found myself you know sitting on a horse and a year later I found myself riding the horse and then I did show jumping for the next 20 years. So the weekends in Galway for me were not normal. Um, I would go to horse shows all around the country and I'd meet my friends uh, during the week. Uh, so it was very different. Uh, my upbringing was completely... Um, I thought everyone did the same thing. They didn't. I genuinely did. I was really naive. But, uh, yeah. What was school like? Ah, uh, school was cool. Um, I went to St. Brendan's in Bohemore, just at the top, of, opposite the graveyard. Um, I was then uh, went to the Jesuits in Sea Road, which was unusual because in our class, there was only really two in that class from the... Uh, the Merview, Bohemore side of the city. Everyone else was Sawtill, Dang, and um, I have to say it was a brilliant experience because uh, the Jesuits have a policy of you give it, you will give me the pup and I'll bring I'll give you back the dog, and they really educated and everything was broad teaching. Um, there was no school uniform. We was in the first class that was mixed, so I went from you know all boys. Suddenly it was girls and boys. Um, we were the first school to ever do it in Galway. Uh, it was cool, it was a good experience. I, I, I have to say, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed secondary school more than any other part of my education. Okay, and was there, was there capital punishment probably on its way out by then, I guess? Uh, I was right, right in the middle of it. Um, primary school, you'd get the old uh, slap across the fingers with the paintbrush. Damn bloody sore. Uh, but I have to admit, any slap I got, I was asking for it. So, um, you know, hands up to that, you know. I have no grief over that. I, I you know, yeah, yeah. any slap I got, um, I was looking for it. Has Galway changed? How has it changed since you were younger? Where we're sitting, right here, um, historically speaking, because I started um, doing tour guiding uh, with my partner, Fiona Brennan, who, ha who has Galway walking tours. And um, now we do it internationally. Um, it's different. I'm not as based in Galway as I am. But these streets here that we're sitting in have, haven't changed since 1651. We have the map to prove it. But everything else outside that street has changed. Uh, we have, uh, when I went to school, there was one guy in my class, one guy in my whole school. And I, as far as I'm concerned, probably only about five that would have any colour. And what I mean by that, I'm not being racist or anything, just that was a different perplexion in, in their skin tone. And I'm sure it was quite difficult for them. Uh, and now look around. Um, I'm quite excited. A lot of people look back at the past as nostalgia. And it wasn't. Galway was cool. It was, it was classed as a city, but it was really a town. Everyone knew everyone. Now we have this collection, eclectic. Uh, you only have to walk around. We have Asian restaurants, Cuban restaurants, South American restaurants. We're meeting Portuguese. We're meeting people from Africa. Uh, just this morning, uh, the carers come in to help my mother, who is 94, with dementia. Uh, she's from Nigeria. We could not manage without her. Uh, so many positives. And I think the positives far away the negatives uh, in the case of Ireland. We really needed, for want of a better expression, uh, new blood. The other thing that has really changed 
Young people now don't have to emigrate. They travel for experience. They don't have to. There are jobs. Um, there are opportunities. Uh, we live in a society, when I was growing up, houses were cheap, but we had no money to pay for them. Now we have money to pay for them, but the houses are too dear. Uh, it's kind of the same equation, but a different set of circumstances that leads you to the same answer. Myself, uh, I look after my parents, and my brother Owen also helps me. He stays a good few nights. Uh, we're the main two people that take care of them. Uh, I don't think I'd, I'd be interested if anyone is watching this. Is um, They've been married, uh, I can't tell you how many years, I would say up on 60. Uh, she's 94, he's coming up 97. And they're both together. So I, I'm wondering, is anyone else out there um, have two like that? Uh, and they're well. They're, they're going well. It's um, yeah. It's it's a uh, it's been a journey. Uh, passion and hobbies. Um, I used to hate travel. Uh, that's become a new one. Um, I'm not a lover of going to airports. Not a lover of getting on planes. But I love where it brings me, and I love meeting the people in my job because I'm a travel director for AHI in the States and Smithsonian Institute, and and uh, meeting the guests and discovering places for the first time together um, and I love when it goes sometimes wrong and we all can laugh at each other uh, it's a brilliant experience and just um, the other passion um, and it's a new one uh, doing nothing yeah I know that sounds strange I love peace and quiet now uh, when I was younger I'd you know I'd be horses it'd be this it'd be that I used to have to fill every minute but now I just love to Sometimes just sit with myself and just go, okay, you know, this is a newfound experience I'm able to see for myself and I, I kind of like, I like when that works, you know. Can you remember um, when you were last truly happy? I can actually, we're I'm not trying to sound exotic. We just took a weekend away, myself and Fiona, we went to Florence and I was walking down by the Dumo, uh, the cathedral there, and I was walk heading towards the Arno River. It was only a small walk, I don't know, 30, 40 meters. And I was just internally buzzing. And don't ask me where it came from. Don't know. But just this is. If this is life, I like it. Yeah, this, this works for me. I can. Uh, there was one occasion where um, I won a competition. It was a, a five year old Guinness qualifier. It was one of the first ones I won. And the guy who was second was a guy called Tom Slattery, who was the national champion. And to, uh, I felt particularly proud coming home that day, kind of going, you know, I've won others, but uh, just that one came. I personally, I was probably, if I was, if you were putting a bet on me and the bookies, I would have been 200 to one. So to pull it off was, uh, yeah, I liked that. I, I, I got a good buzz from that. Yeah. Do you have any regrets in life? Ah, oh, life is full of regrets. I think there was an actor in Sopranos who said, if you look back, you get depressed, and if you look forward, you get anxious. Um, I think the biggest regret, it's not one single thing, it's more of a period of my life where I, I, I found myself in a very dark place. For, uh, you know, and my advice to anyone like, you know, who finds themselves in that place is just sit with it and talk to people and try not to react. It's, it's you know, because it's one of those occasions that time, it's, you don't feel it at the time. It's the, you really don't, but time will take care of it. Um, so it, it, that would be, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the old expression, you know, and it's, it's not isolated to, it's the truest thing that you could say to anyone. When you're going through horrendous periods, this too shall pass. And it does, it does, but it, and five minutes can feel like a week, so easier said than done. If you could give um, younger Alan Smaller Island one piece of advice, what would that be? Younger Alan, a small piece of advice. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Um, and it does, yeah. My biggest advice to anyone, we, no one's perfect, we'll get things wrong. That's the nature of life, it, you know. But on your way, just be kind.
Just be kind to people.